those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello, I'm Jason. And I'm Paul. And we are those vegan guys. And this is one of those random reverse shopping vlogs. So we've been to Tesco uh, and Paul is going to show you what we got um, and probably let you know what we're going to do with some of it. Yeah, how we're going to use it. Um, so uh, this is the little haul we just got from Tesco's. Um, I'm going to link up there right now our last really big Tesco vlog uh, because it's well worth a look and we show you so much stuff. Um, but this is what we bought today and here's why we've bought it. So we've got a tofu and now I much prefer honestly to buy tofu from Wing Yip but we're not due to go until next week or the week after. We we really only go when I'm buying everything. Once a month? Yeah it is about once a month isn't it? So um, but we really fancied a brinner, a breakfast for dinner one night this coming week so hence the naked oink and the tofu they're both going to be used for um a, a, an evening brinner along with beans tomato sausage and uh, probably potato waffle i've got some potato waffles and that's a long back um i only just spotted this today it's a bit pricey but it is marked vegan as you can see and um it is Tesco finest. Garlic and parsley ciabatta. Quite a good date on it. And we like a garlic bread when we have uh, spaghetti and meatballs. Um, so that's going to be for spaghetti and meatballs at some point uh, over there. And I think, I think we've already got meatballs. We have, we've got Aldi's. Aldi's meatballs to try. Uh, with our spaghetti and meatballs. Look at this freezer. Look at that. There's no room for nothing. Don't stop me buying stuff though. Um, this is the Your Sushi Vegan selection. It was reduced only by pence. But we just thought, well, let's have that for lunch. Uh, so if you want to know what's in it, you can pause there and uh, have a look. Uh, made a lovely curry last night and ran out of uh, curry powder so I've got some Tesco's hot curry powder and some garam masala um, both of which I use when I make a curry this is £1.25 at the moment uh, so we just thought we'd try it there's the kind of ingredients that's what makes it up um, so yeah if you've got a if you've got a Tesco Club card, it's 125. So I thought, well, give it a try. Uh, the vegan croissants are absolutely stunning. Uh, the way Jason cook, how do you cook these, Jason? Tell, tell folk. Well, everybody, I would encourage everybody to find your way um, because it's, you know, it's tr it's not tricky. It's just depends on your air fryer. Basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but basically, whack it in the air fryer. I usually do it on about 180 for about 10 minutes. Um, eight, seven to 10 minutes, check them now and again. Take them out, um, let them cool for a minute or two, maybe a minute, cut it in half, put it back in the air fryer for about another 60 to 90 seconds. Yeah. And then what we often do is we will stuff our lovely croissants with uh, some strawberries and blueberries yeah we've just bought blueberries because uh, we had three breakfasts from our our own picked blueberries from down at the allotment so we've bought some more um, but blueberries and strawberries stuffed into them when they're all crispy and cooked perfect bloody gorgeous uh, got some Indian tonic water randomly because we got bought some lovely little miniature gins from um, and Harad and family uh, so we're going to be having them at some point, hence the tonic water. These, if you haven't seen these in your store yet, we love the fact that it's four because there's too many uh, corn and lolly companies do three in a box. Three and we're like, there's two of us. We don't want to end up fighting. You know, punch fights aren't nice. Can I just say something? Of course you can. Tesco, because we know you watch our vlogs religiously. Wicked. <laughs> 
kitchen. We know you watch our vlogs religiously, not. Um, <laughs> we love these, but it's blatant false advertising because they do not look like that. No, they don't. They're not covered in chocolate. They've just got the chocolate bits around uh, like you would get with a classic kind of Cornetto. But they're gorgeous and still worth getting. Yeah. These we haven't seen before uh, with praline, but we do love the uh, coconut collab little chocolate pots. They're a very intense little chocolate hit and they're perfect. So we've got them to try. Uh, I've got some uh, white vinegar so that I can do some pickling, hopefully with the cucumbers I've been picking from down at the allotment. And via life epic mature because it's one of the best cheeses out there and that will be used... Uh, in all kinds of things, uh, maybe for sandwiches, maybe uh, uh, grated on top of things. On top of a spud? Yeah, maybe. And I wanted to show you these two as well, um, which we got on our last trip to uh, Tesco's, which is the Plant Chef uh, Agave and Mustard Dressing. Uh, haven't tried it yet, but it's just good that it's there. I think it was only one fifty. They were quite cheap, weren't they? Yeah. And also this um, wicked, uh, basically bacon flavoured mayonnaise, uh, which is you know good as a dip. What did we have it with the other night? Um, that uh, Linda McCartney chicken. Oh yeah, we got a cheap chicken bucket from um, Tesco yellow sticker. We had this in a little pot, and we also had the. Um, garlic and herb version of this the sauces from Dracini that were kindly sent to us uh, so there you go that's our little mini haul from Tesco's and what we're going to be using it for don't forget though if you want to see a really good video covering loads of stuff from Tesco look up there um, I've already linked it for you and don't forget to ch check out our shopping uh, list our shopping vlogs list in general i think there's about 80 vlogs in there now we've done every major supermarket and uh, places like wingip uh, so there you go lots of lovely stuff we'll see you again soon thanks for watching oh please be excellent to yourselves and each other <laughs> bye loves <laughs> <laughs>